हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ओपन स्टैक ट्रेनिंग ओपन स्टैक विक्टोरिया उसूरी बोथ आर कवर्ड इन दिस ट्रेनिंग दिस इज माई नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द सीरीज सो फार वी कॉन्फिगर्ड दीज सर्विसेज दिस इज आवर ओपन स्टैक कैटलॉग लिस्ट वी कॉन्फिगर्ड नोवा कंप्यूट विद दीज एंड पॉइंट्स की स्टोन आइडेंटिटी सर्विस विद दीज ओन पॉइंट्स ग्लांस इमेज सर्विस विद दीज एंड पॉइंट्स देन न्यूट्रॉन एंड द प्लेसमेंट वी ऑल्सो कॉन्फिगर्ड dashboard so dashboard is also available that is horizon dashboard and uh, this is our dashboard 10.0.0.11 slash dashboard now if you look at this dashboard is not working on http it is working on https another important point i would like to share before i proceed is that in the dashboard we have done some branding also you will see the name the skillpedia open stack you have seen the name right so from where this name have come i'll share with you i'm logging in as a root user and uh, let me pull that file where i made the changes in local settings if you see in local settings i done one setting here and the setting is about the name simple debug false use ssl false and site branding Uh, this is the title of the website where if you uh, use this keyword uh, use this variable site branding is equal to whatever name you specify it will display that name okay now one error uh, when i was configuring i was verifying the services i uh, have done some troubleshooting i configured neutron in neutron i faced some challenges uh, when i was verifying the service working neutron was working fine but when i tried to launch an instance then there was a issue and the issue was because of i missed one setting in nova.com file on compute node so i am working on a compute and i'll show you what i missed because if you have watched my previous lecture you might face the same challenge and so therefore you it is my duty to help you that okay hey you have to fix this issue before you proceed and the issue was here in nova.conf and neutron section was missing in this this section was missing i missed accidentally because this should have been there in on compute node because in uh, compute node you must tell where the networking is Uh, this section was missing and i added this neutron section in nova.conf file on compute node and then the issue was gone what was the issue i'll show you the issue also let me pull the file slash var slash log slash nova compute dot log here you will see the error yeah here neutron uh, network neutron default the section of your nova config file must configure to authenticate with the networking service endpoint this was the error and i noticed that and i fixed that issue after that it started working fine now this today's session is about the cinder block storage the training is brought to you by the skillpedia a platform for online training teaching and learning online the cinder block storage is the agenda of the session before we proceed i must tell you that what we require for this cinder block storage i am going to configure the block storage on a separate node and that node is a uh, storage node and that's why i have not started it yet because i wanted to share what need to be done on this node so you need to add extra disk to this which will be used for block storage so this is my additional disk disk number 4 1 2 3 4 because these two disk i'm going to use for swift storage and this third uh, last disk i'm going to use for the block storage so this is my fourth disk i added which is of 8 gb that's good for me and now i'm starting the storage node so before the storage node comes up we have a lot of things to do on the controller node so let's work on the controller node this is my controller node and we need to create the database we need to create the service endpoints we need to create the services obviously we have to do a lot of stuff here so let's log into mysql hyphen u root and hyphen p now we need a database so let's create the database cinder we need to grant the privileges so let's grant the privileges grant all privileges on cinder to cinder at localhost identified by cinder db pass 
and then uh, this is from local host if the sender user try to connect from other hosts it should be allowed and that's why for the purpose I have given you at the rate percent sign this percent sign is wildcard and then flush privileges database part is done now switch to stack user and source your admin open RC open stack user create admin default domain is default project is service and password is cinder pass and the service name is cinder oh, sorry username is cinder and then as usual as we have been doing for other services we are going to add this user to admin role in other words we are going to assign admin role to this user so open stack role add project service user cinder and the role is admin after creating the user and role we need to create the service let's create the service open stack service create name is uh, cinder version 2 description the skill pd open stack block storage and volume v3 this is the name of our service volume v3 so according to this volume v3 we are going to add the endpoints service created let's add the endpoints this is public endpoint we need to get uh, add three endpoints public internal and uh, admin so this is our internal endpoint in production we use different ports for different uh, endpoints but here since we are doing a proof of concept training purpose so we are using the same endpoint once the service endpoints are created we will go and install the packages so exit from here as root user uh, let's install the packages so dnf-y install openstack cinder ok packages are installed let's edit the file cinder.conf under default section we need to specify the IP address log directory and API version 3 enable and all that stuff so let's put two them together and this is the entry these are the entries we require IP address log directory state path auth strategy transport URL and auth strategy keystone enable version 3 API is true then under database action we need to add the database as usual let's go to the database action under database we need to set the connection connection mysql py mysql sender db pass same thing and then finally we need to go to the keystone auth token keystone authentication have been same for all the services and by now you should know there are seven eight lines about keystone auth token one is this authenticate URI, second is auth URL, memcache server, auth type, project domain names, user domain name, project name, username and password. And then Oslo concurrency. And in this we have a lock path. And that's all for this setting as of now because we need to come back to this file for configuring the volume details right now it is just identity service details which are configured change the permissions and change the group the service needs to be owned by the file needs to be owned by cinder group and now populate the database right this will synchronize the database now we can enable the service cinder api service and cinder scheduler service open stack scheduler service so let's enable the service and when you say now it will start the service now now add the port that is 78776 and reload the firewall now we can verify whether service is available as far as, as, far as keystone is concerned though we have to configure the volume on the storage node so let's switch to stack user source the admin open rc and verify the service open stack volume service list since we configured open stack version volume 3 if we don't get the output right output what we'll see do is oh we got this and we also need to add this to our 
open admin open rc file that is os volume api version 3 now let's go to the storage now first thing is we need to install the packages if the package is not found i got that package not found error unable to find the package so we need to configure the repository which i've done let's enable the power tool repository vi slash etc slash yum dot repos dot d under that we have a repository sent to s power tools dot repo and right now it you see enabled is equal to zero so we need to enable it by putting one in this file enabled is equal to one save and quit and now you can install open stack center target cli and uh, open stack center installation is complete now we need to edit the file cinder.conf on our storage node we are working on the storage node under default section we need to specify the similar details the way we provided on the controller node what is IP address log directory but remember the IP address is of this machine that is storage machine all right uh, the glance API server and transport URL auth strategy and under database also we need to specify the database details under that database connection details once the database connections are done you need to specify the keystone auth token and the keystone auth authentication keystone auth token you specify the keystone details the way we have been doing so far for other services and then same way we have to go to Oslo concurrency locking we specify the lock path so this is our lock path and then finally we exit and change the ownership and the permissions of this file so first thing change the permissions make it uh, no permissions for others and then change the ownership it should be owned by cinder group and now we can enable the volume service and start the service but we missed one thing we need to create a policy for SA Linux here also policy module the way we have configured for other services so let's create that this is module I the admin this is a module created and then we first need to check the module and build the module and then uh, insert the module into the kernel the check module command was not available so we need to install the package check policy so I'm installing the package check policy and after that I'll use the command check module now everything is fine now I'll build the module and then insert this into kernel now uh, the next step is uh, storage we have a fourth disk SDD and we need to create a physical volume on the disk and we need to create a logical volume group out of it and we need to modify our cinder.conf file to specify these details you can have different backends like we can have NFS server LVM so we can have different backends so we are going to use LVM as the backends for the storage and we'll configure it okay now let's create the volume cinder hyphen volumes from the device slash dev slash sdd you should get the device name here sdd this is our fourth disk so i'm using sdd which i added right in the beginning you notice that now physical volume created out of it vg create have done everything on its own so vg display that will display the volume we have created vg display and let me show you the file name sdd cinder volumes this is our volume which I created here now we need to specify this in the file cinder.conf file under default section we need to specify backends and our backend is as you know is LVM so enable backends LVM and then we can go to the end of the file and we add LVM details here these are the details for the LVM this is the LVM section target helper 
target protocol target IP address volume group which we created volume drivers and volume directory where the volumes will be stored and we also need to verify uh, one file that it is scanned properly before we go and that is lvm.con file etc lvm under that lvm.con file with this file this this must be filtered so let's go to filter under filters you'll see different filters and we need to add the filter in right way so let's check that look at this these are the filters so we need to allow filter every block device cd rom just a loop back device and this is the anchors so we can use this uh, every block device so this is a for all this is for loop back only loop back this is the device hdc accept all loopback devices in ID driver accept HDC accept HDC means this this is R R means remove anchors to every specifiers this is the way we specify to be every very specific this is a specific uh, device to identify we'll use this method enable this filter and we need to specify uh, SDD SDD this is our device we need to enable this remove all uh, we don't want this because uh, remove all other devices I don't want this I want to continue rest but yes this one specifically I want to allow this LVS logical volume scanner LVS yes and you see that uh, swap and root cinder volume this is available now 7.6 GB and it is scanned now I can restart my service cinder volume once the scanning is done I need to add the firewall here also I schedule target must be added now firewall add service I schedule target hyphen hyphen permanent and then reload the firewall and then we need to go to the compute node we need to tell the compute to use the block storage I am working on the compute node as root user and we need to edit the file noah.conf on compute node remember on compute node this is my compute node noah.conf file under that we need to go to the cinder section this is cinder and here I need to specify the volume name oh sorry the region name OS region name region 1 and then we need to restart our NOVA service and enable firewall on this also restart uh, add the iSCSI target and reload the firewall now let's go to the controller node and verify the working of the service we are working on the controller now so login as stack user source your admin open RC and now you can verify first thing is let's see volume service list and you see the volume service is up and this is important that is up on storage node so let's create a volume open stack volume create the name uh, with the size of 1 GB and name will be let's say disk 01 and after that we can verify the volume open stack volume list yes volume created volume list and should see the name of the volume now we'll verify the same under the dashboard so volume successfully created and available now let's verify it admin And if you don't see that volume, don't panic because we may have to restart HTTPD service, which we have not started, uh, which is running right from the beginning. Okay, after I restarted my HTTPD and mem cache, I got the dashboard. Now we can see the volumes here, the volume which we created. So this is the volume, disk 01, 1 GB, the volume we have just now, we created it, delete it from here. 
So what we have done successfully in this session, we have installed and configured Cinder volume service, Cinder block volumes on OpenStack Usuri. Same procedure is for Victoria, I verified that. Alright, thank you for watching, bye bye.